welcome to Bradford County, Pennsylvania, a place that's seen more fracking for natural gas than virtually any other place on the planet. If you want to know how the Fylde Coast might fare under a gas rush, there's no better place to search for answers. Towanda is the county seat where they've lived through nearly four years of fracking. You work yeah. in the industry, has it been good for you? Yeah, oh yeah, uh, bought me a Mustang convertible and everything else, so yeah, I'm doing good. This is not the little towns that it used to be. Uh, to me it's bad because uh, it ruins the environment. We've had our water tested four times, it's fine. In Lancashire, 200 to 800 wells could be drilled. In Bradford County, they've already drilled 600. Crystal Stroud became ill with barium poisoning from drinking water soon after a gas well was drilled 1,200 feet from her home. A Department of Environmental Protection investigation decided drilling wasn't to blame, that contamination was pre-existing, but she still believes it's too much of a coincidence. Literally, the rig went up behind my house and within two weeks my hair started falling out and if I was an 80, 90 year old woman living in that house and didn't get my water tested, I mean doctors have said I, I would have been on the floor, I would have been dead. I never thought about moving anywhere else until recently. Bill Ely's party piece is setting fire to his water. He claims it became contaminated with methane after he leased his land to a gas drilling company. Uh, we did notice some pipe rattling, so when the water started getting so it was bubbly and uh, uh, like it is right now, it's bubbling. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, That's frightening, isn't it? Yeah. It was at the beginning, now I'm sort of getting used to it. <laughs> The company involved has installed ventilation pipes and for now supplies his drinking water. It denies any responsibility, saying the area has a history of naturally occurring methane. Elsewhere, there have been accidents. Special response teams have been at the well around the clock since gas company... Reporter Jim Hamill saw firsthand the leak of thousands of gallons of fracking fluid from one well. It did so much to bring a glaring light to what could go wrong. A subsequent report said that leakage had no lasting environmental impact. In Lancashire, the firm behind test drilling is Quadrilla Resources. People are concerned somehow that fracturing fluid is going to contaminate groundwater and there still have been no cases, even in Pennsylvania, of fracturing fluid actually getting into someone's drinking water supply or the groundwater supply. The two sides in the great gas debate will never see eye to eye, but one thing they agree on is that fracking changes lives. If it does indeed become commercial on the filed coast, daily life will be different, for better and for worse. Peter Marshall, BBC Northwest Tonight, Bradford County, Pennsylvania. The dash for gas is making its mark on Bradford County. In its endless mountains, seemingly endless pipelines. But the mark is far from just cosmetic. I need a dollar, 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 that's what I need. We built this simply because we saw the gas industry here, we saw it was going to continue, and we would not have built this hotel if it wasn't for the gas industry coming to this area. Let them come to your area because it will be a great, uh, it'll be a great experience. It's like Christmas every day. Every day, so we've been extremely fortunate. It's helped this community wonderfully. It's helped our businesses, surrounding businesses. Uh, the rest of the country, you know, has been in a recession over the last three or four years, and we haven't seen anything that resembles a recession whatsoever. Hit Main Street to wander, and you get a sense of how gas industry workers have boosted the local economy. These are miniatures of the actual drill bits that they use for drilling. Uh, elevators used to lift and, and twist pipe, blowout preventer. We started staying open an hour later on Friday so we could accommodate them, which makes it nice for them and for us. So your business and the gas industry work well together? Very well together, mm -hmm. absolutely, yes. Indeed, a survey of local businesses concluded the early effects of the gas rush had been positive. 32% of respondents said sales were up, while 3% were down. Who's benefiting most? Well, 100% of hotels and campgrounds said sales had increased, as did almost half of retail outlets, 38% of bars and restaurants, and 29% of tourist destinations. Bradford County also has the lowest unemployment rate in the state. 
These jobs that are here now are really high paying jobs. You could see a high school graduate leave school uh, without an education or a secondary education um, and they could see uh, a salary of 60 or $70,000 a year, which is very, very substantial. There's no doubting that the rush for gas brings jobs and economic benefits, but people who live with it in their communities say that the most important thing is to make sure that profit doesn't ride roughshod over environmental concerns. Peter Marshall, BBC Northwest Tonight, Bradford County. The good folk of Tawanda are familiar with all things fracking and from regulars in a local club some words of advice. Don't let them drill until uh, you are satisfied that the environmental protection laws are in place. And if you guys are thinking about doing it, don't. If you don't need it, don't. Many believe the communities split. Take, for example, the property market. If you're a landlord um, and you've been getting pretty good rents now for your, your apartment or house, um, of course you're happy about that. Um, on the other hand, if you're a local person that can't find anything, can't find anything that's affordable, of course there's a lot of resentment. In the local diner, they accept it's created many jobs and boosted business, but there are drawbacks. Much of the money that is made through the gas industry is exported out to other areas of the country, the United States, as opposed to being solely uh, concentrated in this area. Often, so you pay the price for the, the gas drilling, but uh, don't get the money? That, that's correct. A citizens commission formed to assess the early impact of the industry in Pennsylvania concluded it moved too quickly with inadequate regulation. The main fears were of water contamination, noise pollution, traffic and loss of rural life. Will our experience be similar? It's hard to tell. But it's clear the UK's water system is more protected than the rural local wells that some Americans still claim, despite industry denials, have been contaminated. Further, the company carrying out test drilling in Lancashire has this to say. Regulations and the, and the way wells are drilled uh, here in the UK are a lot different than they are in Pennsylvania. There's a lot, a lot more stringent uh, construction methodology in drilling the wells. Final thoughts from those who've lived through fracking? Community is not the same and it's completely changed our landscape. It's going to help the country. The gas is needed. They need jobs here. So if you get the facts in front of you, then you can make a decision. But don't let them snow you. Don't let them keep talking about the money. Peter Marshall, BBC Northwest Tonight, Bradford County.